this is the angiogram of a patient who had one episode of transient numbness of the left upper and lower limb. On MR angiogram and carotid Doppler, he was suspected to have 70 to 80% stenosis of the proximal right internal carotid artery. Angiogram initially might appear as if there is a stenosis of the right internal carotid artery. But on careful examination, we can find that there is a wedge-like protrusion into the proximal internal carotid artery, which is typical of a carotid birth. Let us see what happens during the angiogram. In the initial phase, this portion, there is stasis of blood and hence that cannot be replaced by the contrast, hence it is not visualized on angiogram. Once you run the angiogram images, you can find that slowly this area where there is pooling of blood gets diluted with contrast and you can see the carotid book very very clearly. And as you proceed in the later images of the DSA, you can see that there is stasis of contrast in that area which is above the web, which is very typical of a carotid web. So this is a wedge-like projection into the proximal internal carotid artery, causing significant stenosis as well as stasis beyond that obstruction, typical of a carotid web. The treatment ideally in symptomatic patients is carotid artery stending. In patients who are not willing for carotid artery stending, they should be started on anticoagulation because there is significant stasis beyond the carotid.